So now in this video, we're going to look at a really easy way. It's just a couple of capacitors and a couple of resistors and something to make a square wave right there. And we end up with a triangle wave. So it's basically a square wave to triangle wave uh, converter. So there you can see the square wave right there. It's getting up to about 4 volts. The power supply rail is 5 volts. That's one thing to uh, keep in mind. So there you can see the line up there is up five squares. And uh, also we can look at the power supply really quick. Right there, five volts. And as the output changes, you can see the current change from the uh, power supply there. Now, we have the uh, square wave right there. So what we're going to do is uh, pluck this really quick. So for the timing, we have an output for about a second it is high and for about a second it is low and uh, right now because uh, the capacitor is charging and discharging we're getting a slight uh, voltage uh, rise a little bit at the end of it right there at the output if I plug this now you can see we don't have that problem anymore so we're dealing with the square wave right now to begin with right there this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor right there these are both one kilo ohm resistors and so it takes about a second for a 1000 microfarad capacitor to charge up to about two thirds of the power supply voltage through one resistor and then it goes through that diode and then this starts discharging it takes about one second to discharge through that one kilo ohm resistor going directly to ground and uh, so there's a little bit more in the way on the charge versus the discharge we're not dealing with a lot of voltage so the diode drop uh, influences it a little bit more so it takes slightly longer to charge than discharge but it's pretty close to about a second for each of them so I have this jumper going over here we're gonna grab a 3 kilo ohm resistor right here and I'm gonna get this out of the way for now and uh, we can just put that to the jumper that goes to the output right there and we're going to grab the uh, 100 microfarad capacitor here. So exact values don't really matter, but you do kind of have to adjust them until, until it works out nicely. So here is what we want to see first with uh, this, this one. So based on how long the output is high and low, the uh, capacitor and the resistor values, you're going to get an RC waveform like this. So that's outputting a straight four volts right there and uh, that's pushing current through the resistor and the capacitor then it goes to zero volts where uh, current comes out of the capacitor into the output of the 555 timer so currents going back and forth but it's going through a resistor and uh, to charge a capacitor so its voltage is changing so at first there's a lot of current flow and then less current flow but in any case, the voltage changes based on how much current is going. But you can see here that it's not flat on top or flat on the bottom anymore. Now there is a curve, and that's the RC curve. And uh, it's not terribly bad, but it's still not a good enough triangle wave, in my opinion. So what I'm going to do, let's pluck that again, is uh, just do that same process again. We'll take a resistor here, and... Uh, put it there and the capacitor again these are both three kilo ohm resistors and I'm going to take another 100 microfarad capacitor and do the same thing so these are polarized all of these there's a gray stripe and that gray stripe has to go to the uh, negative rail right there but in any case I do have the capacitor probably hard to see on the same row as the resistor right there and we'll zoom back before I plug this in we will look at the waveform right there and again it is that triangle wave right there pretty nice uh, triangle wave so we're not getting the full uh, voltage range maybe we can modify that get it a little bit better or whatnot uh, but for now this is good enough we got the triangle wave so hope you enjoyed the video Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.